And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Porto facing Manchester City. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93 and there are many Lee who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world I think the competition at the top at the end near the final etc is what it is but the tournament is strong throughout the group stages and then the knockout stage is a perfect format for me. Well, here's the starting 11 for Porto a standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson starts in goal. Alexander Zinchenko starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Raheem Sterling plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. An important interception. Might be able to produce from this position. He could pick out a teammate. And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. And he's fired over the corner. A punch happy goalkeeper. A very good tackle. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Sterling. Safe pair of. And the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. We've barely got started and already a yellow card. Now, will that be potentially problematic? for player and official. Well, it will be because the player's on the tightrope now. He's now thinking about everything that goes in front of him. And deep into the penalty area. And a no-nonsense clearance. And now Stones. Alexander Zinchenko. And needs an accurate cross. Gundogan. Aguero in the centre. And he wasn't messing around with the clearance. De Bruyne now. Danger averted for now. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. De Bruyne now. It's with Gundogan, Aguero, and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Gundogan, but he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Can't miss, surely! Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. 
A city corner it is. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, the clearance half-hearted. De Bruyne, he cuts it back. De Bruyne, forced into the penalty area. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Arega. Stones. Just wanted to get it out of there. Mateo Suribe run it magnificently and intercepted. Sterling has it. Not quite on the mark with the pass. Aguero. Marega. On a quality interception. We shouldn't be surprised. Fernandinho. Walker, De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Keeping the ball moving. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Mares in full control of the ball here. Well cleared away. Short option preferred. Sterling. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. The ball with Rodri. Mares. How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. favoured a short one here Mares and there might well be scope for them to counter attack here Suarez Suarez delivered into the area here serious miscue in terms of the strike easy for the keeper oh, he won't have an easier shot to save today that was really awful finishing from the attacker Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Suarez. And a throw in for Manchester City, it'll be. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Mares. De Bruyne now. So a throw in here. Corona. Uribe. Well, getting the ball forward is the key for Manchester City here. Will there be any end products? Well, City controlling the lion's share of possession, but they need to turn that possession into creating more chances. The forwards have been vacant today, they really have. Midfield not good enough as well. The fans are expecting a lot more from this team. Surely! Well, a moment he would dearly love to have back. Well, listen, he tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Pass. Mares. Well, body in the way. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. It 
did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Marega. Do they mean business on this occasion? Sergio Oliveira. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Slip short passing. Marega! Well, it might still work out for them. Cleared away comprehensively. Here's Manafa. That's how to flummox the opposing defender. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Three minutes. Gundogan. Sterling has it. Chance to attack using wit. And scope for the cross. And a very good challenge. And given away. The first half here comes to an end. I think we both thought ahead of the game Sergio Aguero was poised to play a starring role, but it simply hasn't happened this time, Lee. Yeah, movement, Derek, causes confusion amongst defenders. He's not done enough of that, as we can see. He's been easily pinned. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Sterling has it. And he was in the right place to intercept. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Excellent vision. Could be the big moment for him. Great work defensively, but still the chance. Rodri. Sergio Aguero has it. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Not a moment that will live long in his memory. Well, I suggest he doesn't look at his teammates right now. They're all staring at him. Marcano. Pepe. Mateo Uribe. Marcano now. And Suarez with it. Wilson Manafa. Good visualisation and execution. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. The referee has gone back now to hand out the yellow card. Opted for the laissez-faire approach. Most would say good refereeing link. No, it's absolutely spot on. Keep the game going as long as you can, but then you can always go back and book him after the ball's gone out of play. Good refereeing. City have lost the ball. Hey, running towards goal. Marega! The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have expected this? Well, how have they done that? They don't deserve it, but they'll take it. Well, here it is. You have to say it's against the run of play, but they've soaked up the pressure and gone and got themselves a very important goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? He can't let the frustrations get the better of him, Derek. His players need help here. The opening goal of the game, then. Mares, the Brainer now. This attack looks highly promising. Marcano now read it superbly to take back possession. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. 
And he's knocked it out of play, so a throw-in is the decision. The ball with Rodri. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. De Bruyne now. Just not looking confident in possession. Not had too much of the ball, Porto, have they? But they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And Sterling has it. And he takes it on. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum. And he did. to go to the bench at this stage of the game and firing it into the area a very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper sheer quality, quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save read it magnificently and intercepted Sterling has it. Diaz. And it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Sterling. Alexander Zinchenko. He's got space. Sterling crossing. And it's gone in. Just what was needed for Manchester City, who now have squared it. You can see how tight this group is, Derek, straight over to the manager. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. And it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Aguero. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Sterling. Foden. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And that is offside. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Coming onto the pitch. Number 20. Here's Manafa. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, he had the signs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save. Punching it clear. Ottavio now. And now it is there for him. It should be. Well, that was simply mild target dear me oh close your eyes when you're watching this one it's horrific <laughs> corona foden the brain and return to Gabriel Jesus. And Diaz has it. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Must score! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. So 
slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. Attacking possibilities on the flank for City here. It was a fine looking attack, but now they've given the ball away. Well, it's a cracking atmosphere in here. The players just need to have opportunity, it is. And the goal gaping at him. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Gabriel Jesus now. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Example of a goalkeeper on top of his game lead. Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Bernardo Silva. Cross fired over. Tremendous block. It comes to nothing. Stones. Rodri. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Can't miss, surely. Wonderful block. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. He's driven in the corner. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Alexander Zinchenko. Time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. Plenty of players waiting in the middle, firing it towards goal. Keeper's contribution, but what next? And he did what he had to do defensively. Now Zinchenko. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Can he open the door to a potential goal? After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Just can't get it past the wall. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. And over comes the corner. A deft clearance. And that's it for tonight, full time, and an encouraging start for them. Three points from their initial fixture lead. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody confidence, especially the players. Well done. And he puts in a really thorough performance tonight, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple. Fuck her in the best yeah.